Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. Today is July the 7th, 2015. It's 7, 7, 15. Today is a wonderful day. It is the day that the Lord, Yahweh, has made. Let's rejoice today and be exceedingly glad. I move to take you to scripture this morning to the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 and 16. Amen. Listen to me. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out, and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Good morning, everyone. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine this little heart of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine be that city on a hill that cannot be hidden be the salt of the earth that you were called to be Church of Jesus Christ be that light that shineth before men that we can glorify our Father, who art in heaven, and hallowed be his name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, and lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And ever behold the precious Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Make way because he's coming in clouds as lightning flashes. And the thunder will roll and the earth will quake and shake. He's coming, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Good morning, everyone. I am just moved by the Holy Spirit. You know, it is not to be popular to put out one YouTube video after the other after the other. It's not about us and our popularity. YouTube can become addictive. It can be habit forming to come on here and just pump out one video after the other and to just want that view count and subscribers and all of the thumbs up. And it becomes an idol. It becomes idol worship. When we have to come on here, we need to be moved by the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. We've got to come on here with a passion. We've got to have a burning fire within our very soul. We have to experience a holy God. We have to be on fire with the Holy Ghost of God. And my prayer is that everyone watching this video but you will come back if you have not. You will come back to your first love and you will get that fire and feel that fire and burning of the Holy Spirit. As we deliver the truth in the last days, it's not about us. It's all about Him. And a lot of times we're not going to be popular and we shouldn't seek popularity across the internet airwaves. It's not about shining the light upon us. It's about letting our light shine on the world. There are a lot of lost in the world. There are a lot of sinners that are going to be left behind. The prophecies are starting to fall like dominoes. We're in the month of July. Today is 7, 7, 15. I'll be very surprised if the Church of Jesus Christ is still on this earth. Past September. I've been a watchman for a long time and I've watched the prophecies. For a long time, before 9-11, many believe it started in, 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 started to move. And at 9-11, September 11th, 
but I've been watching for a long time and it's starting to fall now the book of Revelation we are about at that point where we gotta know our place and to the watchmen out there on the wall I know you're tired I know you're weary and I know you have a little strength but stay upon that wall the true watchmen it's not popular to sound the alarm in enemy territory when the enemy has surrounded the sheep it's not gonna make you stand out and get a pat on the back by the body of believers no one likes to be corrected but we must obey the Father Yahweh we must obey we must pray because being a watchman on the wall is not going to bring you a lot of popularity unless you're tickling the ears of those that are lusting in the end days as scripture tells us the teachers with itching ears and that's what I see a lot I see a selfish bride today but it's only concerned about leaving this place it's almost like they are pulling for a mile wide asteroid to hit the earth knowing that the church will be gone I want to go but are you being the true bride today when I get thumbs downs on my videos some people send me messages and uh, oh, we're praying for you we know how that must hurt no I gl am glorified by this because I know my message is getting out there and this is not very pleasing to the enemy to Satan but wants to tear down the Church of Jesus Christ and I want to come back to be built up solid on that rock and to quit following the teachings of man and idolizing man and putting man upon a pedestal we are to look for the signs and watch for the signs but we're not to be obsessed with the signs we're obsessing we're making it up a, a passion to look for every little tidbit every little sign of our great escape out of here that's not the type of bride Yeshua is looking for we're in the book of Revelation in our Bible study and I was talking about the seven churches that were in Asia and we're talking today modern Turkey the spirit of these seven churches are alive in the world today and I showed that last night the enemy kept causing distraction in that room last night people were losing their connection on a Monday night at Tiny Chat I kept getting booted out of the room the enemy was furious when the truth comes out the enemy gets furious and on our rampage but there is hope for all of the churches in the world today the church of Ephesus the church that lost its first love but is doing right by shining light on the evil on the darkness those that say they are our apostles but are not but are liars but they're so busy in this that they forgot the real calling Church of Jesus Christ to come back to your first love to go out and be that city on a hill that cannot be hid to be the salt of the earth that we were called to be to let your light shine among men in this dark world and when we shine our light it may not be a very popular light the enemy hates the light the enemy is a liar and a deceiver and he's out to seek and destroy the Church of Jesus Christ today and scripture tells us this and you're not going to be popular but there's hope what the Spirit says to the seven churches this is Jesus speaking this is the revelation of Jesus Christ and those that read the book of Revelation you're promised a blessing and here's your blessing revelation apocalyptic does not mean all of the events and visions that John sees unfolding it's an unveiling it's Jesus revealing himself to his church but when will the church of Jesus Christ wake up the church of Smyrna the church of Thyatira we showed last night the Roman Catholic Church with its idolatry and the and, and the Jezebel the great whore but to those that overcome those that come out of this will have a place in that glorious glorious place with the Father and walk with Yeshua walk with Jesus if you come out 
And so with all of the other churches and the Church of Philadelphia, the church, but has promised to escape all the things that are to come upon this whole earth. There will be some coming with us from the Church of Ephesus, from the Church of Thyatira, from the Laodicean Church, and we're in the Laodicean Church, it's a prosperity gospel. Those that will come out, that will heed the warning in the book, that I know your good works, I know what you have done here. It's kind of like I'm going to give you the good news first and then you're going to get the bad news. But I have this against you. Unless you repent, I will spew thee out of my mouth. To those of you that overcome, there's a promise there. There's hope. Overcome the world, church of Jesus Christ. And come to Jesus. Come out of religion. Come out of organized religion. Come out of the flesh. Come out of the ways of the world. Be that perfect bride that Yeshua wants you to be. A bride that wants to be a light shining in the darkness. It's not going to make you popular. Jesus had only 12 that followed him. And because of the word of truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ, they were stoned, they were beaten, they were mocked, they were spit upon. They weren't popular. They were put in prison. They were crucified. John, for the word of God, if we would only take a little time and read and understand and get the blessing of Jesus is revealing himself to you, Church of Jesus Christ. But because of the testimony of Jesus Christ, he was exiled to the Isle of Patmos. For what? For the truth. The prophecies are falling like dominoes and there's no stopping it. The hour is too late. Time for playing games is over. Church, I love you. Church, we need to be solid on a rock. We need to all come together. We need to shine the light on the darkness. We need to do as the living word commands us, as the watchman on the wall. So the, the, their blood is not on your hands. Pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray and continue to pray more. And to get your word out in these last moments, and these last seconds. Before this world is going to change. The United States of America is done is finished it's done but there are people in the United States of America that are truly born again and love the Father love Yahweh and only want to serve a holy God and this destruction is not for the true believer for the true bride and there is a yearning today in the true true bride a stirring we know it's time to go home but let's take this time Let's follow the living word and quit following man. In the living word we read, the Apostle Paul dealt with this so many years ago. Let God judge those outside of the church. But we've got to bring this church back to its foundations. We are to judge those within the church and to purge the church of this evil. So that we can all be purified and to have our candlesticks lit. And burning, a burning flame, an eternal flame, and that is the fire of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost of God. I love you all. God bless you today. Please, church. Please, church. Run to Jesus. Run to Yeshua now. There's no more time. There's no more time.